all, welcome to Hungry Hunt. Our today's recipe is Indian cottage cheese that is paneer cooked with sweet green peas and cubed potatoes. It is an item cooked with onion tomato gravy along with spices and tastes best with fresh Indian bread that is roti or steamed hot rice also. View the full video, like, share, comment and those who are new, subscribe Hungry Hunt and don't forget to click on the bell icon for new recipe notification. The three basic ingredients are potato, here I have taken one medium sized potato. You take the potato as per the number of persons you will be serving. Cut them into medium pieces. Sweet green peas. And paneer or Indian cottage cheese. Here I have taken 200 grams of paneer or the cottage cheese and I'll cut them into cubes. Among the spices we will require grated onion, tomato, crushed garlic, crushed ginger, crushed whole garam masala consisting of green cardamom, clove and cinnamon, few springs of coriander leaves, red chili powder, turmeric powder, cumin powder, coriander powder, sugar and salt as per test. To start with, first I will blanch the green peas. Blanching green peas gives a lovely taste in the curry. After blanching the green peas for 2-3 to three minutes, I will refresh them in cold water. This step is important to retain the color of the green peas. I will now start cooking. Here in a yolk, I will put 1 tablespoon of white oil. And I will lightly fry the potatoes first. I will put a pinch of salt in it. pinch of turmeric powder. Fry the potatoes by covering them. That way it will soften faster. The potatoes are lightly brown. Check that the potatoes are not over fried. I will take them out now. Next in the same leftover oil I will put the cottage cheese or the paneer. I will put a pinch of salt and again a pinch of turmeric powder and fry them from all the sides. The cottage cheese are nicely fried. It takes very little time to fry the cottage cheese. Remember do not cover the cottage cheese while frying. Otherwise water may come out from the cottage cheese. I will take them out now. Some amount of oil is still left. To it I will put one more teaspoon of oil. And first I will put the sugar and I will caramelize it. the beef. Constantly stirring it and caramelize the sugar. Don't burn the sugar. See? Red color has started coming. Rather a brownish color. At this point, I will put the red chili powder. This caramelizing of the sugar and the frying of red chili powder will give a lovely red color to the gravy. 
Next to this, I'll put the crushed garam masala and the crushed garlic. I'll fry. Put a little amount of water in it so they don't get burnt. See, already a lovely color has started coming. I'll put the onion, the grated onion and I'll fry it nicely. Next, I'll put the chopped tomato. Put some amount of salt so the tomatoes get quickly cooked. I'll cover it a bit to soften the tomatoes fast. The tomatoes are almost done. Again I'll put one spoon of water. This I am doing so the spices don't get burnt. And I'll put turmeric powder, cumin powder and coriander powder. For exact quantity of the ingredients, see the description box below. And some amount of ginger, crushed ginger. You can use ginger paste also. And I'll put the blanched green peas at this time. And I'll stir it nicely. I have started separating. I'll put the fried potatoes now. And again I'll stir it. Now, with the spices and the potatoes and the green peas are nicely mixed, I'll put one cup of lukewarm water. And wait for the boil to come. Once the water starts boiling, I'll put the fried cottage cheese. Check the seasoning at this point. I'll put a little amount of salt and cover it and cook till the potatoes are done. Nicely done. The dish is ready. I'll put some coriander leaves and mix it. You can now serve it. It goes best with fresh Indian bread roti or you can even have it with rice also. Enjoy cooking. Stay safe. Goodbye until next time.